statement of macro variable we have user defined macro variable and we have user defined macro variable and automatic macro variable and automatic macro variable we have fixed value and non fixed value and mm -hmm. macro variable we have macro we create in compilation time and the macro we create in execution time so now let's focus on automatic macro variable for that as I said in the previous slide we have fixed value this is an example of macro variable with fixed value for example sys date if the sys date I'm running this macro is for example January 16 when I open my SAS during all the session each time I'm going to call this macro I will have exactly the same value that's why we call that a fixed value because the value stay the same we also have a non-fixed value this is a macro variable ma automatic macro variable such as this loss if I create a new pro a new data set in my program let's say my first data set is data set 1 when I call this macro this loss I will see data set 1 but 20 minutes later if I create a new data set and I call this data set data set 2 when I will call this macro again inside to display on to show me the data set 1 it will show me the data set 2 because the data set 2 will be the last data set I create in my SAS session so this value change could change each time you will call this SAS macro that's why we call that non-fixed value because this value can change it's the same for example for this error if I submit the program and call this macro if there are no error in my program this value will uh, show zero but if I have error I will have something else different to zero and also for library so this value change that's why we call that a non-fixed value so that was for SAS automatic macro variable now for user defined macro variable we have compilation time and execution time for today tutorial I will show you one of the compilation time macro variable I will for that I will use percent let statement to create a compilation time macro variable for all the rest you will sh see the rest of this way to create a macro variable in next in, in over tutorial so now let's go to our SAS session the first example I show here I will create a macro variable called DSN data set name and for that I use SAS help library and in this library I have data set called car so SAS help dot car is the value I would like to attribute to the macro called DSN I select this code and let's submit this code so no error message here so now let's I create I wrote here my proc print 
and what I would like to do is to ask SAS to print this macro and this macro contains sashelp.car so by selecting that and submitting this code let's check the log first and you will see there are no error message here now let's see the result in the result in my title I add the name of the dataset as you see here in my code on the title I add the dataset name and one important thing here is in the title or footnote statement when I'm I when you want to put the macro on the title, title statement you have to put them on double, double quotation mark so that's why here I have double quotation but I can also remove the double quotation that's why in this example I don't put any quotation but if you put single quotation you will have a error message you can use double quotation or no quotation in title or footnote statement so let's see the result and the result you see both the, type, the first title and the second title give exactly the same and in the code the program print the SAS the macro called I called here so and in the second example I give here the B what I did is to show I select some variable because as you see here in the result in SAS help car I have many variables now I just select these three variable and I create a new macro called var list and I would like now to display only this variable so I put var list here I select my code and let's submit this code let's check the log no error let's see the result as you see now I only have three variables and for the next example I use let's to create dates and what I want to do here is to see today dates and week dates so that means I would like to know if you are like Monday, Tuesday or Friday or Saturday so this format can help me to do that to do that I use the percent %sys function maybe you already know if you don't know we use the percent %sys function in macro to call over SAS function you know for example today is one SAS function like time and so on so I select that because I would like to have today date and the time I'm going to select the time to submit that and after that in my title and my footnote I will add date because I would like to display the date and also the time I'm running this program so let's select this code for this example C and let's submit the code let's check the log no error now let's see the result so my title is here on the left side because I add here the keyword J equal left to justify on the left on the left and also on my foot my footnote I add to have my footnote on the left as well so now let's see the result and in this result when I scroll down you will see on the left I have my footnote and here I have the day I run this program and the time I run this program as well so now 
let's move to the next example in this example what I'm, I did here is to use to create a new macro variable called class and what I would like to do is to add the lib name before my macro so I'm going to add a text before my macro variable so the text I'm adding here is the name of the library so I will add the name of sas dot now my macro variable this n1 so let's select this code example number two and let's submit the code let's check the log and now let's see the result as you see I print the sas help class data set here because this data set this macro contain the value class and in the next example exercise 3 to demo 3 what I did here is to put a text after the macro here it was before the macro now is after the macro to do that I create sas help this is now the name of my lib library lib the macro is called lib and I have the first dot that tells to sas from upper sun to dot this is my macro and after that I have uh, one over dot this is the dot for my library because I have the name of my library and after that I have a dot this dot is to separate my lib name to my data set so now let's select this code and let's submit the code let's check the log no error now let's see the result as you will see I print the SAS help class dataset by putting before by putting the macro and after that to put the text after the macro so that means if you want to put the text after the macro you have to put the micro name the macro name upper sentence the macro name dot and after that we text so now on the next example I just exit demo I just want to display the value of the macro so this is the macro I already created and also this dot underscore and time underscore I would like to display the value of those macro on my log I submit the code and I submit the code so here is the statement we've put and here is the display that is a data set name sashelp.car create on at so if you come here on my log you will see that is the data set name this was replaced by the name of the data set I create sashelp.class and the day I create that as well so now for the last demo in this tito I would like to show you how you can delete the macro variable using the keyword simdel and I would like to delete these two I will select this code and let's submit this code no error here now let's select the same put statement when I submit that the first time I was able to see the date and the time now when I select the same statement the same statement and submit again I will see I have no value for create and date and time because I delete this macro variable so to wrap up today you s I show you how you can create macro variable using the keyword 
percent let and I give you three examples for that and after that I show you how you can place a text before the macro in this case and after the macro in this case and I also show you how you can display the value of the macro in your log how you can delete the macro so thank you so much for watching 